we are on day eight. All right, so day eight, that's week three of the beginner program. Uh, let's get to warm up. As you guys know, I like to start with the high steps. So let's go. High steps. All right, let's just get these going first, get a little bit of initial blood going. I mean, I've changed it up, but uh, sometimes that's just getting a good way to get the blood flow. My hands up at my waist, just do high steps for a little bit. All right, that's probably enough. And then let's just relax my neck and my shoulders. Drop your head down. Limber up. One, two, three, four, five. I got my glasses on. It's okay. I'll take them off. Do it the other direction. Forward, one, two, three, four, five, short rolls backwards, one, two, three, four, five, and then what else we got here? Let's uh oh right, let's do um we can do our arms as well. One, two, three, four, five, and then go the other way. One, two, three, four. Five. Do it forward with this arm. One, two, three, four, five. And backwards. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And I'm gonna do the hug ourselves, right? We're just gonna do this for a bit, okay? Get that blood moving through your body warm up, you know, we also do the similar warm up as a cool down, as a stretch, um, but that's really kind of the point, right, you get this new blood, or the cold blood warming up, getting in your muscles, and when you're stretching, you're just making sure that your muscles, after being contracted so much, are also feeling loose and under again, and they'll heal better, okay, so in that, let's hit our hands, let's get that good, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten hold, five hold, usually I go ten, sometimes five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all right? And I always like to get my, oh, my back a little stretch out, sorry about this. Fat body, right? Down, breathe out. Oh, yeah, good pop in the back. Slow raise. We'll do one more for good measure. All right, and now we're gonna do our run in place. All right, so run in place. Remember the variations I touched you guys for the last couple weeks. Which is where if you don't want to run in place, just do your your little foot lifts or your your uh, your calf raises a little bit, just off the off the ground to the balls of your feet, heels up onto the balls of your feet, or you alternate the balls of your feet. Okay, so I can do that. You won't really see it down here, but you notice the point is it keeps my my body moving and going. Right? We can also do jumping jacks. You can keep going. You can do it at 20. You can do it for a minute. You can do it however you want. After jumping jacks, probably do another back uh, stretch today because I slept pretty funny last night. So. Down. That's ah. nice. good. All right. And get my back so tight. W's, right? Pull back. Forward. Just drop your forward with your pull your arms back. That's a really good stretch. All over the place. Alright, that's our warm-up push-ups. Let's get to our push-ups. Alright guys, so warm-up was good. We're gonna jump into the set one. Set one for this is five, 
Uh, set two is seven. Set three is six. Set four is six. Set five is nine. At the end of the day, you will have 33 push-ups under your belt for the day. We are progressing fast, right? Just a few, not long ago, we ended up, uh, you, you only started with one to three push-ups. So let's get to it. <clears throat> no more jibba jabba. Uh, set one is five push-ups, right? One, two, three, four, five. All right. That is five. All right, <clears throat> guys, excellent job. Five push-ups and set. We know we can do it because we've been able to do six and eight so far, but that's just for our first set. So we've come a long way. You see the numbers adding up. <clears throat> you see how we're doing this, how we're moving forward. You have the books, uh, check the link in the description for the books. Get them, they're on Amazon. Uh, 13 bucks, something like that, really easy. American, 13 USD. Um, or 12.99, something, <clears throat> whatever it is. They're easy, they're, they're inexpensive. Uh, yeah, easy to get it. And it has the charts filled out for you for the goals and everything else already. So you're, uh, by the end of this week, we are going to total 98 push-ups for the week. Now, it took us two weeks at the beginning of the program to get to 98. So now you see how we're starting to progress fast. What we've done in two weeks, we're now doing it in one week. That's a pretty awesome uh, feat, and I think it shows that the program works. You're able to keep up, keep going. And uh, this, is, this is your health, man. This is your life, this is your fitness journey. Keep it up. All right, so set two. Set two is seven, three, Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Excellent. Seven. Man, we are, we are killing it, guys. Okay. So, it's 98 today. I'll probably see what I can do for this day, uh, for a day to for day nine, because that's the end of the third week. Um, but <clears throat> any of you guys who've been following me along, you'll recognize that sometimes I'm wearing the same clothes for a few videos in a row, because I'm doing all of these videos at once, but I can already do 100 push-ups a day. I'm fine with it, I do it this way. Um, and you know, you'll get, we'll get to a point, you'll see where we're doing, you know, sets of 50. So, uh, it takes time to get there. Uh, we have to train ourselves to get there. Be consistent. Consistency will always, you know, it's a tortoise in the hair. Consistency will always outdo just fast pace aim for results. So uh, stay consistent and say, you know, build, build your endurance. We have to build our endurance, we have to build our muscle. We have to, um, we have to build to this point. That's why we're here, to learn and build. Set three is six. Yeah, set three and four are gonna be six push-ups. So <clears throat> let's just jump to set three. Set three. All right, straight back. Tight your butt cheeks if you need to. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so the great thing about push-ups, guys, if we haven't talked about it yet, we should have. That's my fault. Um, I might have to make just a separate video on it. The great thing about push-ups, no matter what gender you are, no matter what, what race, religion, whatever, <laughs> they're very good for your overall health. They're very good for your muscul musculoskeletal development. Uh, so, you know, and you're not gonna get too big. <laughs> Especially if you're doing 100 push-ups a day, you're not gonna get too big. The concept of getting too big or too muscular is really, really funny. There's, it takes so much work to get big, okay? Just so you guys know. <laughs> so, um, if it were that easy to get so big, there would be fitness models everywhere. Because 
it is so hard to get to uh, to get that right body composition that you want to be a fitness model or, or to be a bodybuilder or to have, like to be a competitive person who looks big like that. I mean, that's it's years of the training. It's hundreds and thousands of dollars worth of supplements. I'm not even exaggerating. Look at the lifetime of what some of you guys use. I guarantee you that they've probably spent over a million dollars in supplements or at least a company sponsoring them has. So this is a great workout. It keeps you lean, uh, it keeps your muscles strong, and it keeps your body active. And obviously once we get to higher, higher ups, it's good cardio. So set four, ba -ba -ba. six again, okay? I'll do my wrist system. Not my wrist, I'll do my palms. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Yeah. I think my fists feel better. I have a, I don't know if it's carpal tunnel or arthritis at the beginning of something. That happens once you hit middle-aged people. Uh, your body just starts to get little fun pains all the time. All right, we're, Almost done, we have one more set. Set five, it's gonna be nine plus, nine to failure. Okay, so, uh, as, of, as of now, we've already done 25 push-ups today, one less than yesterday. Uh, we're gonna get to 33, if you hit nine, you're at 33, if you get to nine plus, and more, you go to failure, mark it in your book, uh, and comment below what you do. Um, I think that's always fun and encouraging to see who has outdone themselves or outdone their goal because these goals are just written in there for us. So we'll do this again. And let's see. Let's see if we just get to it, right? Nine. So one, two, three, four, five. Nine. All right. All right. Good job, guys. Now, on to the cool down stretch. If you can keep going for more than nine, you keep going. If you take a break now, uh, just jump into the stretch and go for failure. Pardon me, go for failure in a couple days. So, yeah, if you. If you're able to beat nine and keep going for failure, mark it in your book. Uh, if you got nine done exactly, you just saw me exactly, you did 33 today, 11 times more than you would have started with at most. Um, maybe even 33 times more than you started with at most if you can only do one push up. So, there we are. Next week, or next, I'm sorry, in two days, we're gonna be back here. Oh, and we're gonna do nearly 40 push ups, all right? So get to the stretch and cool down. Have a great day. See you soon. We're here to get our stretch on. Uh, let's uh, first just hug ourselves. First, we're just gonna hug ourselves, okay? First for the stretch, just hug it. Love ourselves, we had a great workout. Pushed ourselves to the limit that we had to hit before. It feels good. Feel some good tingling in my body. Cool down. My blood's just starting to flow. Sweat coming out. That's good stuff. Get your shoulders back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get your shoulders forward. One. This good stretches. Also, do the hand. Put your hand out right over here. Oh, that's so good. A lot of these stretches are just good to relax and come down from a good workout. This is where it feels really nice. Feel those endorphins, you know, releasing. You feel accomplished. You feel like you've done something well. Keep pushing 
go up bowls. Again, take some deep breaths. It's good therapy too. It's good just calming and breathing right, keeping your breath going. Good, good, good feelings. I'm doing that is my, my back's a little tight, so uh, I, uh, I just like, you know, gotta keep, keep, keep this lactic acid knots from building up, okay? We're gonna do W's just like we did in warm up. Back, head forward. Comfortable, but it's a good stretch in your chest. You certainly feel that in your, chest, in your chest, right? So grab the hands in the back, breathe through it. If it's uncomfortable, just take some deep breaths. Ah. Another way I have a pole directly behind my, my sheet here. So what I'll do is I can also grab that pole and just I'll just turn my body away from it and I'll feel this stretch. And that's really good. So and do that and hold that a bit. If you don't have a pole, you can do it on a wall. If you don't have either, you can do the class push back like we just did. Okay? And I'm gonna do it again this way. I just feel it across my shoulders and my chest. Stretching helps you develop and recover much, much faster than you would if you weren't stretching. Just so you know, there's a lot of people, bodybuilders, when I was a bodybuilder, I was like, yeah, oh, F stretching, man, I'm hardcore. Well, that's great when you're 20. You can recover from anything, even a hangover faster. But uh, age catches up. Get a good stretch, get your blood flowing, get moving, right? Now, while I'm doing this, I'll move my, I'll do my leg thing like I do in the warm up, just with my heels and stuff. So, and this is just a nice cool down. I'll do 10 breaths for a good feeling of cool down, and then we'll call it a day. So, ready? One, two. Five, we're gonna stop moving our legs. I'm gonna stop moving our arms, take a few more breaths. If you wanna lay down, take a few breaths again. Uh, pay attention to all our great stuff in the description below and keep keep going for the gold guys keep trying to stay fit <laughs> 